Hello guys, what is up? I just thought it'd be cool to do that high note when I started. I'm sorry if I offended your ears. What is up guys? This is Christian from Extreme Boomers coming back at you with another concept video. Now you guys been liking this concept video. Now remember there's a tutorial playlist with all my concept videos down in the description down below. So yeah, go check that out. So this is gonna be a continuing a uh, continuing continuous this is gonna be continued from the last no couple concept videos ago I made uh what should you upgrade first when you upgrade your HQ or when you first join the game and this is gonna be a part two you guys left me your feedback in the in the script I mean in the comments oh my gosh I'm getting so mixed up today and this video is gonna be mainly focused on the armory for most of my concept videos I want to do like make the original video, then make a follow up video a couple weeks later, kind of saying like you guys, if you guys suggest something, if that made more sense than what I said, I'll make a part two and I'll kind of explain it better. So this is like the very first part two of a concept video I've made so far. If you guys have any feedback, be sure to leave it down in the comments and I might make a part three, we'll see if it's that off, maybe eventually. But yeah guys. Or once it becomes outdated when they add more troops but yeah so this one's gonna be mainly focused on the armory you can find part one down in the description i i basically said to you guys basically i said upgrade your armory vault and sculptor and i spent like a 10 minute video telling you guys that so that's basically where you should upgrade and i went into more detail there so i definitely if you guys haven't watched i definitely suggest going to watch it and i just realized my core is in the wrong place there okay guys so yeah this is this video is going to be mainly focused on my armory so if we look at my armory i have a lot of stuff i i have available okay guys so look at it so i have i have everything in the game so far and i just i think it's pretty cool now if you guys want any feedback for what you should upgrade, so I definitely suggest as soon as your HQ finishes, it's, this should be one of your very first buildings. I'm getting a little light there. Yeah, so your armory should be like your second building you upgrade. I always recommend upgrading your sculptor first because that makes the most difference, but after that, upgrade your armory. And like some levels, you could upgrade your armory twice, some you can't upgrade any, and it's kind of complicated how, how all that works, but... You want to ask yourself, what's my main strategy? And for me, my main strategy is warriors. So that's all I've been upgrading. And I've seen people like Boom Beach General. He didn't, his, uh, his riflemen are like level 4 or something. They're so low. And it's because he doesn't need to upgrade his riflemen. So he's just like, I don't need to upgrade them because I use warriors or hookahs or whatever. Because, and... I, well, maybe it's his heavies. It's one of his troops that they're, like, very low-leveled. And I don't know because I haven't watched them recently. I've just been so busy. But, yeah, guys. So, that's basically, like... You want to ask yourself, well, what am I going to upgrade? Now, for me, I like upgrading all my stuff kind of at a steady rate. So once I'm done with one thing, like after my barrages are done, if I have enough gold, I'll upgrade a big thing. But I want to, I need to upgrade my boom mines a little, a couple levels. And um, that's because boom mines are good. And I definitely suggest upgrading your regular mines because high level mines get so deadly against... Um, riflemen and warriors. And I know with some experience, guys, warriors are so hard to attack with high level mines. So, that's that. Now, I, um, boom mines, they're, they're like the opposite. Well, I mean, they're bad for warriors, but they're terrible for tanks and, um, heavies. So, if you get attacked a lot by heavies and tanks, then you should upgrade your boom mines. But if you get a lot attacked by warriors and riflemen, you should upgrade your other mines, your regular mines, and it's kind of that kind of seesaw um, option you should have, and I I recommend just upgrading them both at the same, so once you're done with one, you could upgrade the other, and save up for the next upgrade, but it's kind of, it's kind of neat how it works, like, so, like, regular mines won't do anything against tanks, so I just think that's kind of neat, so... Okay, so now that we covered the mines, and I don't recommend upgrading the mines as soon as you upgrade your armory. I always suggest upgrading your troop that you use the most. So if you use like all riflemen, I always upgrade. I, I would always upgrade riflemen first before you make any other upgrade, and that's kind of 
And because, like, that extra boost is gonna help you to get more gold to upgrade more things. So, it's kind of, if you think of it that way, you should upgrade it. But, after you're done with upgrading your main troop strategy, you, you're you wanting to upgrade your um, artillery, medkits, um, EMTs, shock bombs, flares, and um, barrages. And I don't, I don't know, smoke, smoke is not the biggest thing you need to upgrade, but I definitely recommend upgrading those, all but the smoke. And, because those will make a difference, guys. Like, when I had low-level flares, you would spend five flares to get up to the back of a base. And, if you upgrade them, that will cost you less energy, which will allow you to have more energy to upgrade something else. I mean, more energy to place something else on the map, so... Um, that's kind of the theory behind it. So you always, I would, after you're done with your main strategy, I would recommend upgrading your flares and your EMTs. Because the longer the EMTs last, if, if you don't know what EMTs are, it's basically the shock, shock bomb. But yes, if you upgrade your EMTs, I mean, if you have low level EMTs, they will wear off before your guys will take down the base which will cause more troop losses, which in the end will cost you more gold to upgrade. So, <laughs> I mean, it won't cost you that much more, but if you think about it that way, it will cost you more. So, that's what I recommend doing. So, after you're done with your main troop strategy, I would upgrade your flares and your shock, shock bombs. And then, after those, I recommend upgrading your mines and boom mines, maxing them out, and then... Um, what else did I have to cover? Yes, the barrages, barrages and the artillery. Now, if you're using a strategy like tanks, and, uh, I, I don't know, I, I'm not the biggest tank person or hooker person, but I think on tanks, you definitely want to take out boom cannons and cannons. And if you think about it, if you upgrade your artillery and barrages... Am I even, yeah, Art if you upgrade your, I was just thinking maybe artillery was called something else, but if you upgrade your artillery and barrages, then that's going to help you in the long run, and it'll cost you less energy to take down a building, which in return you'll have more energy to place something else, and you'll be able to take on more buildings, which eventually will cause less losses, and will get you more gold in the end, because you're not tank, I don't know, Four or five thousand gold for each tank that you lose. So if you think about it that way, you should upgrade those. Now, if you're using tanks, or I'm not sure about hookah. I'm not sure if you need to have highly upgraded artillery and barrages, but I think you do because you take out um, ca um you take out rocket launchers and cannons and boom cannons. And so yeah, so if you're using hookah or tanks, I recommend. Instead of upgrading the mines after the flaring EMTs, you upgrade your artillery and barrages, max those out, and then you max out the mines. Now, once you're done with that, you so I'm gonna go over the order at the end, order of upgrade, and once you're done with upgrading your mines and or and or, or in your case the barrages and artillery, then you should you could start upgrading your med kit and your uh other troops if you want but if you know that you're only gonna use like me if i know i'm only gonna use warriors why do i even need to upgrade anything else it's kind of that strategy so like i'm just starting now to upgrade my zookas because zookas are high level dude those things get deadly and i just think that's kind of cool now if you're using a warrior strategy instead of upgrading your artillery and barrages which you don't need with warriors, you want to upgrade your med kits. So after your um, after your flares, EMTs, and your mines, I would definitely recommend upgrading your med kit. Now it doesn't do too much per level, but it does make a difference. Trust me. I just recently started a new account, Boom Beach account, and <laughs> I have so low level stuff, and it's so hard to attack just because I'm not used to it. So that's what I recommend. Okay, guys, so I'm going to start wrapping it up. I'm going to tell you the order of upgrade for each troop combination. Okay, guys, so in this section, I'm going to be wrapping it up, and I'm basically going to be telling you guys the order of upgrade stuff that you should upgrade. Now, the screen's probably getting boring, but I'm almost done, guys. Don't worry. Okay, guys, so this is the order of upgrade. As soon as your armory finishes, you want to upgrade your troops that you are going to be using. So if you are using tanks, heavies, 
Oizuka, so Huka strategy or tanks and medics or just tanks. This is what you're gonna wanna upgrade. You're gonna wanna upgrade the, your your uh, people first. I guess I'll just call them people. <laughs> uh, you're gonna wanna upgrade your troops first, and then after that you're gonna wanna upgrade your flares and EMTs. After that you're gonna wanna upgrade your artillery and barrages. Then you're gonna wanna upgrade your mines and boom mines. And then after that you could upgrade your med kits, and then after that you're basically done. If you are using the warrior strategy, you're going to want to upgrade your warriors first, max those out. If you are using riflemen, just all riflemen or riflemen and zookas, this is what you're going to want to upgrade. You're going to want to upgrade your troops first, then you're going to want to upgrade your flares, EMTs, and then you're going to want to upgrade your med kits. Because med kits, with that strategy, you guys will get wounded fast and med kits will help you out a ton. Then you're going to want to upgrade your med kits, and then you could upgrade your barrages, artillery, and then your mines. Any other strategy? If you guys have a different strategy, you can post them down in the comments down below. And if you are a pro at Boom Beach, you guys could leave your suggestions for this concept video down in the comments down below, guys. But that's all I got time for today. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We post daily content. Well, we try to post daily content. We missed a few days since we started, guys. You try posting every day for three months and that's what it's gonna come down to anyway guys that's it for this video please subscribe see you guys next time bye